How do you make a rectangle in Photoshop? I'm going to show you how to do that in this simple tutorial. So you have shape tools in Photoshop. On the left hand side, you're going to see those. I have the ellipse tool opened up, but if I click and hold, I can see that there's the rectangle tool, triangle, polygon. So in this case, to make a rectangle, we'll select the rectangle tool. Now at the very top, we have some tool options. We can select to create a shape, a path, or just pixels, which is not a vector shape. Then we can select whether our rectangle is filled and with what color, and whether it has an outline around it called a stroke, and also what color, and how thick of a stroke is it. One pixel, 10 pixels, whatever you want to put in here. You can also change the units if you want. You can decide how that stroke looks. Is it a dotted line? And then you could just do the width and the height and lock it in and create a rectangle that's specific, but we're not going to touch that. And you have some other options over here, but we really don't need to look at all this except for this option right here, but we can adjust these later. So no matter what, to create a rectangle, we use that rectangle tool and we click and we drag. So you can hold shift and that will lock it into a square shape, or you can let go of shift and just create whatever kind of rectangle you want. Once I let go, you'll notice it takes that fill and the stroke values. So in this case, it's just a black fill and we have this rectangle out here. Now what it does is it creates a shape layer. So you can see in our layers panel, we have a rectangle shape layer. That shape layer is editable and it's also vector, which means it's infinitely scalable. We also have in our properties panel, some shape properties. So we could actually adjust the width and the height. Let's say I wanted to actually make that 1000 wide. I could do that. 500 tall, I could do that. But right now they're linked. So this is going to adjust based on the proportion that I created. So if I unlink it, now I could make it 500 pixels tall by 1000 wide. I could adjust the angle of it. I could flip horizontal or vertical. Doesn't matter with a rectangle, but with some shapes, you, it does matter. So you can do that. Then I can still change the appearance. That's why I said some of this doesn't always matter. So if you accidentally create a rectangle and forget that you didn't fill it properly, you can change the fill, change the stroke, the size of the stroke, inside or outside, alignment of the stroke. You can also make it a rounded rectangle. So let's say 50 pixels. And if this link icon is checkmarked, and we press return on that, it's going to do 50 pixels of roundness or corner radius on each of the corners of the rectangle. And from there, you don't really need to do any of the Pathfinder options, but we essentially have a rectangle out here. Now, you might see corner widget tools. We can drag this corner in and out really easily with the corner widget tools. We can also grab the edges of the rectangle. Now you might notice I'm still on the shape tool, so that allows me to adjust this rectangle just by clicking and dragging it. And then if you go to the move tool, you can actually move the rectangle around and line it up in your document. That's how to make a rectangle here in Photoshop.